Welcome to Life is Strange Double Exposure. Max is back, and that's all I know, okay? That's that's it. I know the general thing of, of what's going on, but that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> if you really believe that you can, Alpaca. Let's do it, folks. Let's go. I'm so excited. I get to pick an outfit right off the bat? Ooh, shit. Oh, I don't have any of the special ones. I'm really sad because the, like, $100 version, you get a Moogle outfit from Final Fantasy VII. We're going with this one. This one's cool. Indoor. Outdoor. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Max, these are all so good. The goose? I like the goose. I think we'd go double goose. I like the goose one. We're doing that. Oh. Beware, I am... Running the resolution a little low, just because I'm not running at 1440 like I normally would. It's a 1080 because my graphics card would actually explode. So hopefully it still looks good. Where are we start? I'm so curious where we're starting this game. I have TikTok chat closed today because I don't trust them to not spoil things for me. It's too easy to pop into a TikTok live. Here you have to have you have the email verified Twitch account. Okay, Max breaking into buildings. That's good. Max looks so good. Oh my goodness, she's all grown. Oh my god, this well, looks so damned. good. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> Safi is her name? yet. Let me take a look. Oh my goodness. We're back in the driver's seat with Max. Rewind hasn't worked in years. Oh! But still. <laughs> I tried to hit the rewind button. <laughs> That's amazing. Come on, Max. Gotta focus on the here and now. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. What are we doing? Yeah. Was that really that crazy of a solution to the problem? Safi's like, are you sure we can lift that? Max, like, I'm yoked. Wait for Takes it. Takes off the jacket. Go. Where on earth are we? Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. Hell is right. I think this is the part where we abandon all hope. Ooh. All hope of not contracting tetanus, maybe. <laughs> uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. Nobody's as crazy as Max. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Um... I 
the potential baby? I don't know. What is it about empty spaces? The potential. Well, uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be Well, I think it more as it has the potential to, like, have anything Just in it. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. That's an interesting perspective. Hell yeah. Let's hit the bar. Not kind of wild that shot. that would still be there. Oh, let me just... I would oh. think with all the graffiti and everything... What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Oh, Hands she's taking off. pictures. Is there anything that I should be doing? Looking pretty. Just sit still and look pretty. Foxes, happy birthday. Fun. What's up, girl? <laughs> Welcome in. Oh, we get to be the photographer. Okay, we're looking for aesthetics here, folks. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling this. Bam. How's that one? I like that one. So what one. are we looking for exactly? Besides photographing random detritus. Well, that's a big word. Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. Gotcha, boss. Safi's like, I know all about lonely things. Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Ah, uh, yes. Abraxas. Who's Abraxas? Hey, partner in grime. What are you smiling about? Nothing. Nothing. What is this? It looks How like a screen. How old did you say scream. this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? <laughs> it looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. Mm. Sound theory. We're not getting well, sultry. We don't know Safi yet. But I'm here on a photography residency, so what do I know? I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. Mm. What was chapter one called? I totally missed the name. Ooh, ooh. Well, I'm happy to have you here, foxes. We get to experience it all together. I feel like this shot's a little better. No, because that's too much. I'm not a professional photographer, mind you. Hey, Safi, can you stop shining your light on it? Hold on. Because I feel like head-on this shot isn't good. I feel like we need an angle. Safi's light's really messing this up. Yeah, I'm stuck in the spot. Zoomed out is too much. Eh, it's the best we're gonna get. Hail Satan. Nice. Edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? I am. <laughs> I am. You never know what's out there. 
God, I haven't something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. <laughs> I remember. Weird kid. You hear they Maybe have a good time down in hell? This, nothing I've will heard pop the same. out of it. What oh god, though? that's like an old ball return. It's an ice cream cake. Taffy, what are you talking about? Bruh, I feel like if I came upon an old bowling alley, I'd try to slide down the lanes. Like, I'd set up the pins and use my body as the... Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Ooh, that's wow. a good shot right there. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Hmm. Hmm. Let's look around. We need a medium for this one. Summer fun. I kind of like that with the wake up and stuff. I don't really like the tower of beer cans. I don't feel is a good photo. That one doesn't have enough lighting. Guys, we're going to become fresh professional photographers, okay? I feel like this one's good. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Figured out what your focus is gonna be. True, it can make it moody. Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Pull down the tarp. What tarp? Pull down the tarp. It says pull down the tarp. Hold on, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Oh, and it goes away as soon as I move myself. Makes sense. Makes sense. I get that. What is this picture over here? Take a picture I'd of that. I'd like to meet the artist, especially if this is a self-portrait. But I guess there's something weird about taking a picture of someone's graffiti art. But then why? No, there's not. Don't listen to me. There's the tarp. How do I get over there? Hmm. Good thing. That would suck. Something doesn't have to be useful to be worth preserving. Well, you know my mom. She can't stand a charity case. <laughs> Let's pull it down. <clears throat> so much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? Yeah. The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. The light and probably will no still hit looks it. At it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. I'm not either. We've gotta climb, put ourselves in danger. Oh. There. I'm sorry, How why does the bowling alley have a skybox? You got it, boss. This bowling alley's got a lounge suite up there? Like. You know what? I'm saying that it's probably an office for, like, the manager or something. Can I use the gumball machine? Do gumballs have an expiration date? Was it a professional league? You know what? We don't know. I'll pass. Why not? The gnome. Is this seizing the means of production?
I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. &M. The forbidden M&M. &M. Yeah. I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What? You Roll mean steal it. it? Why not? It's not it kind of like looks like SpongeBob, the legs. Couldn't you steal something that doesn't feast on the tears of orphan children? <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to His drag legs out are with literally SpongeBob. It's like the same feet. His SpongeBob socks do have blue on them. I'm aware. Brain skull. Relatable. I like that. That's Sometimes really cool. Sometimes I feel cool. like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. Can you guys hear the game okay? Is the balance okay for you guys? Let me know if it's not. Because the levels look okay on my end, but... I know that's not always good reflection. One day... My money's on one half full bit. Oh, man. I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. <laughs> It's good to know Max is still Max. I've never bowled anything above a 180. Oh. Oh, dog, no. <laughs> he has the best and the worst score. Alright, how are we getting upstairs here, folks? Yeah, we gotta take a picture of these bowling shoes. Shoes? Yeah, keep your light right there. Lonely? That's perfect. Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god. <gasps> this year's Caledon <laughs> University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics. <laughs> I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna so, throw up. So Safi's. It was a mom. shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her, considering she never liked it when my closet was messy. But... So Safi's mom is someone high up at their school. It's good to know. Ooh, that's so cool. Yeah, I know. Especially in a Life is Strange game. You hear trusted adult and you think that's a red flag. No thanks, I value my yep. ankles. Generally well liked adult in Life is Strange games normally is bad. Hold on. One second. Happiness just sent me a DM about your birthday, Foxes. She's thinking of you. Oh, whoa. She probably sent it before stream and I just saw it. You okay? I do too. The UI looks nice. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. Now pull her up. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Safi, what was that? An ass ambulance? Really? Armed and ready. Let's find that oh, shot. Oh, you know Safi was. Oh, Ain't you're no move that says a carousel horse can't bowl. Jesus Christ. Um. Um, any other options? Other? Um, yes. yes. Better? The gnomes smoking weed really pull the place together. They I'll really keep do. Looking. Take a picture of that. Max looks so good. Oh, I love I love the art style they went with this one. I think it looks really good. It's like a That's really good blend of monkey DJ the I've true colors seen. one and the original, I feel. 
pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. If you wanted my number, you could just ask. Following me around the joint is creepy behavior. For sure. For sure she does. Hmm. So we want to capture the loneliness portion of it. Again, I am no photographer. My wife is much more knowledgeable about these things than I. I think that's aesthetically pleasing. Because you want it to be the focal point, but the focal point in the center. To the right, maybe? To the right? Maybe. I don't know if I like all the light on the right. Rule of thirds. Again, not the biggest photographer. I like this. I like this one. <laughs> wow. Drawn in like a spider. LA service too? Okay. This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? That's good to know. And let's get the hell out of this death trap. A spiral inwards or a spiral outwards? Or does it not matter? Come on. I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Oof. Beautiful dismount. Check this okay. out. It's That's perfect. That's good to know. Oh, show me the angle. I, Max, I feel like that picture wasn't that crazy. Oh. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Did it land on her camera? Because <laughs> <laughs> she dropped it when she pushed her. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Holy shit. Are you okay? <laughs> <sighs> I need a drink. Oh yeah, cameras cost so much. You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. What's turtle? Local bar? Oh. Okay. I was like, did I lose the game? Might not last. That's okay. We will. It didn't. Chloe! It didn't have me make that choice. Matt. You dead? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I thought at the beginning it was going to make us choose. I did not get that choice. I'm, Maybe it's a dialogue I mean, choice? No, not dead. Just thinking. On what happened to Chloe? There's no way it's detecting my life has changed mm. one save on this computer. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey. You look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh. Not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? Oh! Are we getting flirted with? <laughs> I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <laughs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? Uh, yeah, Safi, we're what? not dumb. Amanda, Oh, are you actually this oblivious? Max is dumb. My bad. I am not oblivious. Okay, I knew. hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. 
Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi? <laughs> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? We were high school sweethearts. Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? I can't get over how good she looks. High breakup they did such a good job of aging her up. It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? Ah, there we go. It's a it's a dialogue choice. Well, we have to stick with what we actually did. I mean, we were together for kind of a long time after high school. And then we weren't. She wanted to live in the future. I was too hung up on the past. That's all you're getting. For now. Oh, that's For interesting. Ever. <laughs> now change the damn subject. Deal. Amanda. <laughs> I like Sappy. She's fun. Um, I mean, we don't even know her yet. What the fuck? I feel like Safi and her, but I don't. I don't know if Safi's into that. We'll we'll say it. Ugh, fine. Yes, I have a big stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a Lakeport. Man, this is a total catch. We don't even know where yet. Half of Lakeport doesn't have what you have. A Safi. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. Safi First might step, just be a friend. Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? I like how the characters in this game move like normal humans. Okay, then. Like Life's Strange True Colors was a step in the right direction, but this game more than the others. Looks like real people. Ooh. Time to go be normal. <laughs> yes, sir. What's up, Kill Squeeze? All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. Oh shit, guys. We've got social media. You know what that means. Through the looking max is an amazing handle. It is now a text message stream. Who's Reggie? Looks like it's going to come apart any second. Max supposed to be her life. I like the composition of this one. Oh, so that's her mom. That's her mom. That's Safi. No! No, go back. I am there. So Yasmin. Yasmin. Nebula series. Bowling Extreme Edition. Interesting series. How'd you get in? Mold, probably. Teats, teats, teats. I like... I'm proud of that one. Looks artsy as fuck. Hello, Mr. Kill Squeeze. Oh, 
Reggie. You ever feel like you've wasted the last couple years of your life slamming your head against a wall? You're not smart enough to break through. No? Good, me neither. Change your major, dude. Want to get a drink? Fuck yeah. Your career outlook with an econ degree is much better than pretty much any other major at Caledon, if that helps. It doesn't. Fair enough. <laughs> Moses. What a bunch of dorks. Fun fact about tonight's Gemin Geminids. Most meteor showers come from comets, but this one comes from an asteroid. Phaethon 3200. Uh, Phaethon has the closest orbit to the sun of any asteroid. Another fun fact, Phaethon is named after the son of the Greek sun god Helios. He drove his dad's sun chariot for one day and had such a shit job Zeus killed him with lightning. Safi, that fact is not fun. I am in love with Safi. She's so funny. She's sassy. I'm not saying the right adjectives here. She is cool. Let's just say that. Rise and grind. No grinding in public. You must be new here. Does President... F I'm going to butcher that last name. Fade? F is it Fayad or... F I could totally just not. What does the double Y make? Fayad? Fayad? I'm so sorry. I definitely butchered that. We'll hear it when someone says it. She's not the boss of me. She literally is, only legally. I need coffee. Just made a fresh pot. Chloe? Hold on, hold on. We're getting there. Much love to Tony, the best boo ever for finals week care package. Old what's-her-name never did anything like this for me. The Abraxas is a state yes. society. Yes, this was the chicken the guys. Performance art. What's going on in front of the Kim building? Just means juvenile pranks. Yeah, they were the chicken graffiti in the building. Chloe. Fuck. I wish I could have seen the show, Chloe. Anyone who calls New Orleans the Big Easy has never tried to do sound tech for a DIY show with no AC. It is hot as hell here. Girl, you are the MVP. We never could have done that show without you. Lucky for you, I worshipped at the altar of sick, be sick beats. Chloe as a roadie checks out. Not my usual scene, but maybe you can bring me the next one. Oh, I can, but could you handle it, Chase? Yes. Victoria. So that was the one... Oh, wait, Victoria, Victoria, like the asshole. Grand Isle is the last inhabited barrier island in Louisiana. Each year, its shoreline is eroded by rising waters. So Chloe and Victoria are homies now. Yes, I'm on assignment for the rest of the month. Then it's back to the gallery in Seattle. Sick, I'm flying to New Orleans next week. Stop by, I'll buy you a beer. Deal. Okay, are Chloe and Victoria together? What is this? What a combination. My mind is blown. What? What is that? What is that? Open mic night sign up. She is looking pretty empty, folks. Be sure to sign up or I'll have to resort to an entire night of duck jokes. Typo, did you mean dick jokes? No, but she does have an entire bit about duck penises. You don't want to hear about the duck penises. Bring it on. Duck jokes quack me up. For my own edification and to ensure I'm not tilting at windmills here, are others interested in a four-day work week at Caledon? Oh, yes. Fuck yes, even. Give me a thing to sign and consider it signed. Rati... Who's Gwen? We don't know Gwen yet. Rati... I'm only visiting, sure, and my poetry comes when it comes. I'm on board in theory, but how likely is something that like that to pass? Some of you don't know when to quit. I love that game. I call foul. Turn away for one second. Somehow I'm missing pieces. Like Champlain. Great eye, Reggie. This looks awesome. Less pictures, more studying, Reg. You're not my real mom. This one's going out the fridge when you get home. 
I forgot. We're in Vermont for this game, are we? Yeah, I know there's so much lore. Prospective undergraduates, you have until the end of the month to submit your application to Cal, and we'd love to have you. Especially if you're interested in writing programs. Get those apps in, folks. www. I'm sorry, that comment was a mistake, but I can I can't figure out how to delete it. Another hit from the creator of woman accidentally FaceTimes her dentist ten times in a row. But in all seriousness, just press the red X. I don't see it calling you now. Diamond. Happy 27th birthday to one of my biggest fans, my sister Gladys. You're officially old now, so I can't wait to see new wisdom comes with age. Gladys is an old fucking name. Like, you have to be an old lady if you have the name Gladys. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. That's just That's just the truth. The first one, well, yeah, at least for some of the, I'm sure there's going to be nods, but I don't think, I don't think there'll be too, too much, at least from right now. Okay, we don't know Gwen or Diamond yet, but I think this is the last, a few spots left on the waitlist for crafting a memoir in spring. Okay, so Gwen and Diamond, and then Reggie and um, Moses and Vin. All right, so this is our social media. We also have texts. Oh, man, I can't read all these right now. We're going to do a quick skim. See if there's anything interesting. They drank for Halloween. If you don't play, it's fine. I understand. What'd they say? I haven't had lunch yet either. I imagine you two could use company. Wait, Moses, what did I forget? Mana Massive again? Some tabletop game, I'm imagining. So Diamond, Moses, and sometimes Max play Mana Massive. Oh, it's a card game. Told you my willpower was not what it used to be. So Max is like a TA. She's a resident. So I'm imagining that's like a teacher's assistant position. Movie night isn't about having fun, Max. It's about having fun and the suffering we inflict on our friends along the way. Moses seems cool. He seems sweet. Safi wasn't answering. So Moses is our fucking nerd. Safi. Not to rush you or anything, but Halloween is in three days. We doing this costume or not? Beep, beep, Max, your chariot awaits or whatever. Oh, I know it's a... The no timestamps is fucking with me, but I imagine it's a lot of work to come up with the timestamps for everyone, every text. It's probably unnecessary work. Final, final, final. This time I meet at V4 about 12 minutes ago. So she's writer. She's a writer. Thinking about my final draft, I need to do another final or draft. You do know this will be longest another few days of my life. Hmm. She has a thing with her mom, disappointing her mom. Okay, Yasmin. Who's Yasmin? Or Yasmin?
Hello, Maxine. Welcome to Calvin University. I'm Dr. Oh, this is Safi's dad. I'm uh, Dr. Yasmin Fayed. Yeah, Safi's mom. I, uh, Fayad, will learn when someone says it. I know everyone is so excited to meet you and to experience all that you have to offer. You can call me Yasmin or Yasmin. I'm uh, only Dr. Fayed when I'm fundraising. Uh, Safia, Safia told me at lunch today that you two are getting along famously. Well, she phrased it more crudely, but that was the gist of it. Your daughter is truly a delight to be around. It's been way too long since I've met someone as engaging and as witty as Safi. I guess Safi is a bit of a... Not to say that Max needs someone like Chloe in her life, but she ha she has the same she brings the same energy to Max's life, plays off her just as well, if not better. I'm saying this we've played like twenty minutes of the game. The rest have been reading. Apologize too forward, but Safia uh, intimidated intimated. That you might not be returning home for Thanksgiving holiday. I know travel is, this time can be maddening. I want to extend an invitation to dine with Safia and me. It's not holiday we've celebrated in the past, really, but all the same, I'd hate for you to be alone. And I know she'd agree. Chloe. Oh, Chloe, we're reading all of your texts. I don't know. Uh, everyone who said Chicago winters are unbearable. They were grossly under... Oh, so I guess we're in Chicago. I'm stupid. Why did I say Vermont? Lake Champlain, Illinois. My bad. We're in Illinois. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's literally so cold, it's impossible to think about anything else. All my problems don't magically disappear. They're just replaced by a more immediate and brutal one. It's refreshing. Re refreshing, not refreshing. Uh, plus, Malort. Chloe, nobody actually drinks Malort. It's a bit. You don't have to commit that hard to the bit. Also, you're texting me this from a hotel room with a thermostat set to the surface of Venus, right? Venus is lovely this time of year. You coming down or not? Yeah, five more minutes. What do you want me to order you? And don't say, my lord, my lord. Hey, so I woke up a little early and I'm down at this cute little coffee shop. I was thinking, what if we just lived here, Chloe, in Andersonville? It's like the queer Chicago neighborhood. We could, you know, stay. By stay, you mean a few months, a year. No, I mean permanently. Max, are you asking me to move in with you for good for good on Valentine's Day? Shit, is that today? Don't act all coy with me now. Sorry, I didn't I really didn't know. This wasn't some grand romantic gesture or anything. I just like it here with you. I don't know, it feels so final. Yeah, but final in a good way though, right? Chloe? Are you there? Let me ask you something, Max, and please think about this from my POV, okay? Okay. If I say no, will you just rewind time again and again until I say yes? Chloe, I would never. How could you even ask me that? Max, never is a hard thing to promise. No, never is forever. Look, I don't want to do this over text, all right? I'll see you back. I'll see you when you get back. Yeah, sure. I might be a little while, though. Yeah, I understand. Hey, where'd you run off to? Sorry, you look so peaceful. I didn't want to wake you. See, this is where dates are important. I wish we had dates and timestamps. That never stopped you before. I don't know, maybe... Fuck. Fuck! I was seeing if I clicked other stuff, if there was... Shit. Okay. As cramped and rancid as that motel room is, I'm surprised you aren't getting some fresh air, too. Now the sheets still smell like you. I could lie in bed all day. Okay, one, you are so fucking corny. You know you, you know you love it. And two, it sounds like you're asking me to bring you back something. Chloe, I am not asking you to bring me back something. I know you asked for... Th I know how you asked for things, Max. Well, since you asked, why don't you wow me? Bring me whatever delicacies St. Louis has to offer. Gooey butter cake and ribs it is. What am I saying? We are in Vermont. Lake Champlain is in Vermont, right? I'm not crazy. That was just Chloe. Why am I fuck? Why am I questioning myself? Okay, I didn't mean. Wow, that was fast. How'd you pull those out of your ass like immediately? 
I knew you'd want me to bring you something. I googled while you were asleep. Chloe, you really are the best. Yeah, really something. That's the last time we texted? That's all we get? Because this seemed like where we break up. Like, this seems like we had a conversation here in between these two. Alright. Okie dokie. Back to the game. Learn about Amanda's interests. What up, Amanda? I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. Okay, gotcha. We need to figure things out before. Safi says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look some... Well, that doesn't look right. Gosh, these are really beautiful. They are Caledon pretty. doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. I admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here Stop is just confusing. Fix the flip painting. I love this turtle. Look at him. He's so cute. I'm about to fly off the handle. What does that even mean? Sir, I'm trying to admire the turtle. Are you really? Oh, this is Diamond and Reggie. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> Max would say that. What the fuck? What brings you two to the turtle tonight? Fearless leader put us on duty. Oh, that's right. Must be exciting, being in a secret society. Oh, they're in the chicken yeah. group? Very exciting. Join the Abraxas Society, Abraxas. where you too can become a prestigious artist. Reggie looks like a douche. And hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> You'd think he'd have freshmen for that. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just... Sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshiping Vin Lang, the president. Ah, there we so go. It's like a bummer. So Vin Lang is well, the president of Abraxas. You gotta remember that. Good luck, you guys. <laughs> Art seminars. It's just not even in my major. Maybe you should switch majors. You're good at photography. Sorry, I want to listen to their conversation. I mean, they led you into a breakfast, didn't they? You've got a great eye. Are you cheap with money? It's not a great look for a photographer. You're probably right. But that's not gonna help me now. I gotta pass this goddamn glass. Hey, what happened to that award you got? Did you go to the ceremony? I did. It was so... I don't know. Fake. Boring. You're the only person I know who'd gripe about getting an award. No. Those sort of hits in festivals. It's always wall-to-wall -wall white All right. people with one or two. Soup pole. The soup future is in Senegalese peanut soup, New England clam chowder. Those are very different, I would imagine. I've never had Senegalese peanut soup. I've never had clam chowder, but I would assume those are incredibly different. Find some things Amanda likes, and then. I don't know what Amanda likes. Oh shit! We have to determine which soup it is. Can I back out? I don't have enough information to decide on the soup. Shit. 
shit, shit, shit. What would Amanda like? I feel like they want to trick me. Like they have the Senegalese peanut soup, which is a more, like, is a more exciting option. New England clam chowder is pretty basic, especially if you're in New England. That's like a general thing. So I bet they want you to pick the peanut soup, but in reality, she'd like the clam chowder. I think they're trying to reverse psychology me. When in New England, do as the New Englanders do. True. If you've never been to Massachusetts, those bitches love their clam chowder. I know that other New England states do as well, but... Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? What else could you ask for? What up? Ah, yes. The telltale signs of a 10 coffee all-nighter. The bathroom? I like their gender-neutral signs. Those are cool. I like it. I love all the art in here. This is sick. Like, what is that? What's a dangerous place? The bathroom? Robot? If a man doesn't notice anything to go by, this canvas placement isn't part of the... Yeah, she gets mad about the paintings. Bye -bye. There you go. Is that painting of a dog pooping? It's definitely a choice. I would never have that in my home. Staff recommendations. Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. Last season of Demon Whisperer. Our new Granny Smith Grilled Cheese. Misery Cult self-titled 1999 album. For sure, stylistic choice. We need more info. I feel like we're missing something. Could we didn't go all the way this way? Go. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. I like Just Go. Just have to learn the game first. Right. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. You, someone else's. Let's look uh, at it. Undergrads. Hey Max, remember that cool thing you could do with Polaroids? Let's do that. Oh, keep forgetting. No more back to start for me. So I wonder why she ruled out the rewind powers. I understand. That for the game, they outlaw the rewind powers for narrative. But I wonder if we learn a reason later on. Let's turn this frown. Because we saw the conversation with Chloe, where Chloe's worried about her doing it without her knowledge to fix things. Um, which I believe is totally rational. Like, how would you ever know that your partner isn't just going back? in time and fixing everything. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. Written and directed by Damon in Washington. Oh, Diamond made a movie. All right. I think we have all the info. Oh, no, what's this one? Worst pickup lines. Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. Top score of all time, RKBL, GH. Do you have kidney stones? Because your body rocks. Hey baby, if you were in a book, you'd be fine print. You must be a bank because you have my interest and I have to wait in line to talk to you. Those I are should terrible. be able to break the ice now. Not that having more to talk about or wait, another Polaroid. for her chalkboard ever hurts. Jeez. Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. I should be able to break the ice now. I got it, I got it. Not I that having to more to talk about. Busy night. Oh. Julie called off. Wish me so luck, folks. I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got what? this. What is he Bathroom. doing? 
Now you are a literal. How do you angel. break multiple glasses in a you. week? Out of the way, freshman. <laughs> Reggie's lucky I'm not going to make him sweep up the glass. Come here, my sharp little. Friend. Did we ever meet Max's parents in the first one? Little like, Max's lady, huh? family is an enigma. Hey, photography's a tough industry. Like, we know a lot about Chloe's family. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. <laughs> Reggie scares me. I guess so. My bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. We're gonna have to put you on payroll. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty amazing. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. Um, your family. Those photos on the wall over there. Is that your family? Yep, all six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, Six so they kids. have to do what I say. Mm -hmm. Misery cult. So, you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your wreck on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. So, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. Um. What does make it big mean in this context? Why will that have I consequences? Mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New I'm Hampshire. Scared. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty big. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this of course is the she first does. I'm hearing about it? Of course. Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So? Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Hey, baby. I seem to have lost my number. Can I borrow yours? Nice, Max. I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> Max killed it. So, I was thinking that we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime. You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. Revenge so, Horse? So, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? Oh, don't make me choose. We don't know these people. Fuck. Fucking shit. Shit, but we don't know what our options are. That sounds douchey. Okay, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. I was kinda... Definitely thinking a date thing. You're Thank you really for the follow, bot. Adorable. I appreciate it. It's a date then. You're right, Fox. That's a good point. But the way they make you choose makes it seem like... 
it's going to have ramifications. Bye-bye. So many bots lately, man. I feel like we've been getting inundated. And they always have the same fucking Look message. You, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I feel I great. No the last 10 minutes are total blur. But a man is really cool. Mm -hmm. She looks great. Hey. <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? This is our nerd. We almost died. We didn't almost <laughs> die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. Man. You should come. Both of you. That's okay. perfect. All we need is... Hold on. What is she doing? <laughs> what is she doing? She's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. True foxes. Courtesy of Madame President Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Oh no! It's a Life is Strange game and we're going to a big event. Well, not a big event, but an event. <laughs> In the first chapter. Fuck! With alcohol. Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. Welcome, Cass. This is what I get for introducing you to. Congrats on your safe travels home. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it will probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? What I was going to do anyway, or take a picture. Take a picture so snooty. If you're already a photography student. Let's be honest. I'd probably just put on Return of the Living Dead and eat an entire pizza by myself. Why mess with her team? She died doing what she loved. Max is turning into the snobby artist we always knew Awful she would be. over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? That's me every second of every day. Oh, for sure. Um, because you're a good friend. Cause we're gonna be nice to Safi. Convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person, and you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. I love them. This is the best you could do? It's I cute. Don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. You are, Moses. Grandma Max. Shit. World's best hot chocolate, and it's a toilet. This is actually vodka, or nerdy and dirty. What would Max find funny? I think she'd pick the nerdy and dirty. Or the action. I don't think she'd pick the toilet one. I don't think she'd. I don't think she'd think the toilet one's funny. Well, one out of two ain't bad. That action will have consequences? What's gonna happen? <laughs> you pick that book. I have some good news. Uh, Therefore, big, but I everyone can't will die. Tell you what it is. 
You can't tell us you have good news and then I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses, you don't have hypothermia. Moses, Moses has hypothermia. hypothermia. I've got incoming. What do you mean incoming? I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> What's her thing? She writes? Did you go write somewhere? Good news, huh? Fox do that secrets. all the time. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. Dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Um, what's happening, Moses? The face when your friends enthusiastically agree to go stargazing with you on a rooftop. Hold on, there, Moses. Max and I didn't say anything about enthusiastically. Exactly how cold is it supposed to be in? Amanda wanted to join us. his mom <laughs> because you know I worry about my baby boy <laughs> maybe that's why they hold a conversation with each other I got you yes It's so satisfying to see how far my students can go. Congratulations, Kennedy. I'm so proud of you. Kennedy Barker, youngest recipient of Stephen Nickelberry Award for Best Short Story. Congratulations, Kennedy, and you too, Professor Cole Monero. We're lucky to have you teaching here at Caledon. It's an honor, especially during moments like this. Who the fuck is Lucas? He's another teacher. Crosstalk's number one true crime podcast. A oh, man, duh. Everyone's got good handles. Almost pissed my pants, still landed the girl. Excited for my revenge horse date. Oh, she's posting about us. Does she know you almost pissed yourself? Mom and Dad! We're on our way from the airport. Alright, I'll meet you there. You left in a hurry. Everything okay? Yeah. Had a great trip. Love you. We went back to Arcadia Bay last week. You'd hardly recognize it after the rebuild. They even made a monument to those we lost. We heard about your upcoming exhibition in Cleveland. Would you mind if, my mom, if your mom and I crashed it? Anything fun planned for your birthday this year? Happy birthday, Max. We love you. Caledon must be keeping you pretty busy if you can't catch if we can't catch you on your birthday. We're thinking of doing another family vacation this year. When does winter break start for you? We tried calling earlier, Max. We haven't heard from you since your birthday. Just want to make sure our girl is alright. Sorry, I'll try to call more. School's great, but I don't have much free time don't have as much free time as I thought. We understand any chance we can expect you for Thanksgiving this year, and then she didn't go to Thanksgiving. Are you sure? Have you tried talking to someone about the catastrophe that wiped- Oh. Writing team? I know, I'm thinking the same, Foxes. But the stuff with Chloe was in Chicago. She's at Caledon here. But I'm thinking similar things. But writing team, are we sure about this one? Have you tried talking to someone about the catastrophe that wiped out Arcadia Bay all those years ago? Why would her parents say that? You know, they live through it. I'm fine, really. Did Mark Jefferson ever say or do anything to you when you were in his class? No, stop worrying, please. It was cold. They know nothing. They don't know what happened down in that basement. We notice things, Max. Anytime we talk about Arcadia or the past, you shut down. 
We never should have sent you to Blackwell. It's not your fault. It's not yours either. You can always talk to us about anything. We're your parents and we love you, Max. Please take care of yourself. Yikes. You're right, Fox. That very well could have coincided. But this is why we need time stamps. I'm so sorry about the broken glass, Max. Please don't let a ba Amanda ban me for life. There goes your grade. This. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Really makes me sad because, especially following up from Steph's DLC, they all went through something pretty horribly traumatic with the storm having occurred. And then you think about all the stuff that Max went through in one, like almost dying, witnessing everything, watching Chloe get killed, and then coming back to life, watching Moses Chloe be paralyzed, and then like all Maybe of that helped. shit. And she just lives with that. I wonder if Moses knows how to get Sophie to talk. I, I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work. Even I can't pan anymore. Crunching numbers. Toggle pose choices. What? Tap to toggle pose choices. Oh, did I move too fast? Oh, got it. Casual lean. Hey, Moses. Casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. Pretend. <laughs> Moses is so sweet. He's so cute. Moses, look at the camera, bud. <laughs> oh, we're posting that. He's so cute. A man of science. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? Her right. book got published. I think right? I have she idea. wrote? But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Yeah, what does that mean, Moses? Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. What is it? Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Yeah, right. She's in earshot. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more. It was like silent life. winter's night outside. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead. What's we got? Safi's bag. Safi's like bonkers protective of that bag. Usually never lets it out of her sight. But she dang. Safi snagged the good stuff from the snapping turtle. Snowball. Could I hide the snow bottle bank, cap sorry. in a snowball? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. Yeah. I'd only get one shot. Doesn't seem like a good idea. Me and Chloe used to daydream about the adventures we'd have under skies like this. I love that you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. After everything that happened in Arcadia Bay, I'm lucky I found this place. I haven't been this happy in years. Excuse me? Do we need to do that? I love you guys for including that, but that is sad as shit. 
press to leave the Zen moment? Cups. Only the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department. All right. I guess. So we put it in the snow bank or the sour candy thing? I think we put it in the sour candy. I think that's our best bet. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. Yeah, exactly. They've just got to hit us with the trauma. Slap us with it. You know, if someone handed me a bottle cap and then was like, you have to do whatever I say now that you have the bottle cap, I don't know if I'd uh, abide by their rules. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Nice try, Max. <laughs> there we go. That's good. I like that. That's cool with the meteor and everything. I like this photo hey, mechanic. Mm -hmm. How's the writing? Find anything poemable? <laughs> the moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk I wonder to. if I can export oh, the pretty. pictures that I take in the game. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, Those are rare. Because that'd be fun to have all the Life is Strange people, like, you know, share really talk about what pictures they took here. in the game. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. One of these days, I'm going to find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. Want some candy? Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh, twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. Fine. Yeah, we'll let her have her secrets. Oh, That's okay. Fine. But this is your only get out of jail free card, and I'm taking the cap back for next time. You rule. I'll put back the curtain soon. Just need a few more days. Promise. The Safi, the, because we know from the description <laughs> that someone dies in this game, and that's the oh. catalyst for the rest of the story. Oh shit. I have bad feeling that it's Hello? Safi. This Safi. is Safi. Yes, this is Sophia Llewellyn Fayad. Fayad. Be right back. Safi, don't go. Safi. Safi. Don't go. Oh God. So uh, we're never seeing her again. Turn of the living dead. What about it? You said you'd watch it while the asteroid hit. Isn't that a zombie apocalypse movie? Return of the Living Dead is a zombie apocalypse masterpiece. I've seen it probably a hundred times. So you're going to watch a movie about the apocalypse during the apocalypse? That is a weird choice. Oh, Alpaca, I feel like we're about to be. But Alpaca, I think you're really going to like this. I think you'll like this a lot. Embrace the well, yeah, that's why it's a good pick. Why fight the end of the world when you can embrace it? I guess. Look at that. What a tale. Moses was right. 
This is awesome. You should. Can we get the asteroids, maybe? There they are. Ooh. Well, I feel like if we can get some of those lights on the bottom and an asteroid. I don't, again, I don't like things being dead center. I feel like that doesn't make for a good picture. Oh, there was one in the bottom left. What the fuck? I was just taking a picture. What? What happened? What was that? Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. I think I'm gonna take off. Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Oh, we're getting traumatized on this walk, folks. I can see it. I can just feel it in my bones. So good, and I'm so gonna get copyright stricken. <laughs> I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. I can't recall exactly how you came into my life at all. It seems you always Caledon's a beautiful canvas, but it's even better when it snows. This game didn't have a copyright, uh. Music check off like True Colors did. Call me crazy, but I know that's everything I know. Call the end. Is this one of those moments like in True Colors where I have to walk? It is. I was just enjoying the environment. What a perfect night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Sophie tomorrow. Amanda is a keen cultural anthropologist, I see. Two demographics that know every word to Cisco's The Thong Song, 13-year-old boys and every lesbian in this New England gay bar. Does that make me a lesbian or a 13-year-old boy? I know a decent amount of The Thong Song, and it's because of Glee, okay? I, I swear to God, it was because of Glee. I used to listen to all the Glee music, and The Thong Song was in there, okay? So I know a lot of it. I had a lovely view tonight. <laughs> you have to believe me. Gwen and her wife are adorable. Oh, so Gwen's married. Claudia and Gwen. Messages. Amanda. Thanks for making a poor, bone-weary bartender's night. You're cute. I never not only can she flirt in person, but she can do it over text, too. I'm a woman of many talents. We'll see if you got good music taste to boot. I feel threatened now. Okay, so go enjoy the meteors and don't let Moses freeze. He will try to stay out all night. Before I forget, too late. If you want more dumb jokes, I have a comedy account at Turtle. And the turtle. Of an uncomedy. No pressure at all, though. Um.
So that's the Thanksgiving. Good evening, Maxine, and my apologies about the hour. I received an alert that my bank that purchases in excess of $200 was made at the Snapping Turtle on my credit card. Safia... Safi uh, isn't answering her phone, and I was wondering if she had, you had seen her. She's not in trouble. I just want to know. Oh, God. No. Safi's fucking dead. She's dead. She's the one who gets murdered. It's winding up. Is champagne wine? I guess I didn't know that. Observation path overlook December 4th. What's that? Why won't you let me look? What is this? New message from Yasmin. Yasmin. At home. Safi's chain smoking again? Is it a collectible I missed or is it just one I can't access? We'll find out. Wow, Why did Mr. Snowman ever do you? Yeah, that was rude, Safi. Snowman was just chilling. Was that in game? What the fuck was that? It's like an owl noise. But I guess it's everything I'm <laughs> Nice. Yeah, it sounded like an but owl. Who planted the bottle cap? And who took the photo? That's interesting. The snowman that's head was knocked over had the bottle cap, but that's Max's. Max has that. Oh, there's our owl. Don't get to take a shot like this every day. Wow. You're really watching me, aren't you? Look this way, Mr. Owl. Why does this keep happening? What's going on? Oh my god. Max? Hey. It seems that way. Hey, hey, are you okay? Something's wrong. Sophie. Hey! Come back! What happened? Safi's dead. She's the one who dies. I'm not. There she is! There's Safi. She seems okay. Oh, shit. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. New message from Moses? What? Sophie, hang on. What? No, she's alive. What, what the fuck was that gunshot? Oh, Sophie's fine. Yeah, what was that? For a moment, I thought. What was that? What was the gunshot for? Safi. Oh no. Safi? She's dead. Hey. You okay?
What are the odds that Max has two murders? She's had way more than two in her life. My lord. She's winning the Trauma Olympics. Gold medal. Is that the end of chapter one? That's a good first chapter. Oh man, we're gonna have to dodge spoilers for two weeks until we get through this whole thing. Cass, Safi died. She got shot, we don't know, we just found her body. We don't know how she died. It was weird. But also, there was a picture of the snowman with the bottle cap, but Max has the bottle cap. Don't say that! I won't trade you! No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. Stop it. Don't do that to me and then make them break up, okay? Okay, that's rude. That picture we took of her was really good. Bruh. Max needs a break from life. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Yeah, she likes it, Foxes. Fuck. What happened? What's that? Damn, Chloe. I thought I lost you. Oh, stop it. Stop that. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. You can get out of here, time, Max. That's fucking insane. No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've seen. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. Oh. It wasn't. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. The bassist from the agnostic family. That's a cool ass bassist outfit. That's so Jewish. cool. Enthusiastic. We had a huge blow up not long after we took this. I'm glad to only remember the photo and not the fight. I like that it's in. The art style of the old game. If I could undo your death, Sophie. Like this one's in. I'd do it without a second thought. In the current art style, but this one we and had the a dog. Huge blow up not long after we heard. And all the other ones Chloe. are in the old. I thought that. Art style. <sighs> well, I want to read all the posters in a room. Who's calling? City Morgue. Hmm. 
Wave your friend on ice. I can't read any of that. Why is why can't I read that? For uh Max, I just heard about Safi. Are you okay, hun? No need to respond, I just want to check in. Okay, I lied, I'm worried. In response would help, but I understand. That's it, Max. I'm coming over. Moses. Um, I need a better way to tell where we last left off. Hey, Max, where are you? I'm doing my best not to lose my shit, and it's not working. Update went to my lab thinking to think about, but all, still freaking out. Please get back to me when you can. I assume you've also been processing what happened, and I get that, but... I'm feeling all alone here. Are you okay, Max? Any sign at all would be greatly appreciated. Right about now. Alright, I'm going to try to get some sleep. Emphasis on try. Hope you're able to do the same. Moses, I'm so sorry. I'm just now texting you back. I've been in a fugue state ever since, and thought of even looking at my phone made me more depressed. I hear you, Max. It's hard enough to deal with this, and harder still thinking I was dealing with it alone. I know, and I'm sorry. You're not alone in this, not in anything. Thanks, Max. I should try to get a little rest before now. And if you get the energy to come to campus, come find me. We should talk. Deal. See you tomorrow. Well, it's morning somehow. Sleep was pretty much non-existent. Imagine you didn't sleep much either. I'm scheduled to meet with the Asmin today, and I'm not sure what to do. Wish me luck, I guess. Fuck. She went through all of that alone. Uh-oh. Did you tell her I'm not mad about her splurging? She's not answering her phone. I don't know what to do. Maxine, please, if you hear from her, call me immediately or have her call me. My God, Maxine, I am lost. I'm so lost. The detectives from Lakeport Police Department just left. I told them to speak with you in Salah. You have more information for them than I can provide. In Salah, right? That's how you say that? She was my only child. I did everything to protect her, and yet still this, this. I'll be in my office today. Maybe work will take my mind off it. Please come by if you are able. Work did not take my mind off it. I saw her everywhere. I looked. I came home after 45 minutes and slept for 11 hours. Why aren't you answering your phone? Are you angry with me? I would understand, but silence is the most painful of all. Max is a really shitty texter. She does not respond. Grieve however you must, but please don't shut me out. Not now, not like this. I'll be in my office again today. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. Like, just respond. Send a response. Oh. Anything. My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, and you got a girl oh, coming yes. over. Oh, yeah, definitely, but... Can at least be like. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. I'm the type of person who responds of regardless of what's too. going on. I'll I'll send something. It doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. Yeah, and no, she Giano, wasn't. That's really saying something. Get dressed. Where's our clothes? Over here. Get dressed. Did we accidentally move into chapter two and I just didn't notice? The bears! Look at the bears sweater. That's so cute. I like the bears. Oh, do I have to? My outdoor and my indoor can't be different. That's a bummer. Now to take care of downstairs. Can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her. Dear Kaladin right? community, as your Why university you president, I write to inform you that in light of the recent passing through. of one of our beloved Kaladin students, Glass 
Classes and planned special events will be cancelled until further notice. This is a difficult decision, and I know many of you are looking forward to end-of-term activities for which our campus is famous, and I hope you understand my reasons for doing so. Losing one of our own, whom a number of you knew personally, is not easy, and I want to assure you that grief counselors will be available to you at no cost, should you feel the need to thank you for understanding during this trying time. Cordially, Dr. Yasmin Fayad. Fayid, right? Shit, now I can't remember how she said it. Fayid. Fayad. Fayid. The Lakeport cop investigating Safi's death. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? Yeah, Max really has zero info. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Amanda will understand. It's a nice dorm mm, for just dinner. Max. It's chunky though. Like so she gets this whole place. Like more of a substantial meal. Safi. Yeah, Fox's this one would be more fun to make than Alex's. A lot more going on. Grocery shopping with Safi. Oh, we were supposed to go to grocery shopping with Safi. Been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. <laughs> Max is surprisingly calm. Oh, please, I'm a star. We're only on episode one. I don't think Amanda needs it's to see It's good to hear that it's so good, though. To my sadness today. Take. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. <laughs> or a Neb hater like Safi. We love Neb. I would die for Neb. I appreciate it, please, Amistar. Thank you very much. The We've had TikTok chat closed all day. As soon as I don't I want any spoilers. Permanent address, I renewed my subscription. Moses loves this. I promised I'd watch, but it's been four months, and I don't have the heart to tell him I probably won't. But do it for Moses. Moses is the sweetest. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with your mistakes. We had to clean up some stuff. Memory box. Leave it to my very normal brain to respond to my most recent loss by fixating on the last one. Yikes. One of the last things I got from Chloe. It wasn't an invitation. Even years later, this still sucks. Hey Max, to read. I started writing this in St. Louis, hence the big fucking every word count. Since the big fucking arch on the postcard, but I'm sending it from Tennessee because it took that long to figure out what I wanted to say. When we were teens, I thought about being able to rewind time was the coolest shit in the world. And I guess it was for a while. Problem is, the more often you go back in time, the less often you're looking forward. I wanted to look forward, to move forward, with you, Max. Into a future we couldn't predict. And all the messiness that brings. Eventually, I knew, as much as it hurt, that you would never be able to do that. Not with me, at least. I love you, Max. That will always be true. I hope you find someone you no longer feel the need to rewind for. You can look forward, unafraid. So what... Was she rewinding while they were together? Because she's implied that now twice. Almost everyone I ever knew. Gone. Yeah, and Just she's... Like that. She threw them all away for Chloe. She did it all for her. Not that that not that that means that they have to stay together. Just like the disregard for that fact in all of Chloe's texts and letters. Yeah, exactly, Fox. That's what it seems like. In a meteorological turn of events that's baffled climate scientists from both the NOAA and NASA, uh, an impossibly rare 
West Coast tornado wiped the town of Arcadia Bay, Oregon, completely off the map. As our planet warms, these same scientists warn that so-called freak weather events like this become too common. Yeah, I think so. I don't know what day it is. I only know it's night because you are sleeping in bed next to me. Motel blackout shades are no fucking joke. I don't know where, where we are. I don't even know if we went north or south. I grabbed a new journal from a souvenir shop, but when I tried to look at the calendar, it was like all the dates ran together. You told me to save your family, and now they're dead. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. If I wanted to just get in the driver's seat and point us to the ocean, I wonder if you'd stop me. October 18th. Okay, Michigan in October. Really fucking cold. Someone once told me that you can get hypothermia from f swimming in Lake Superior, even in the summer. I don't know if that's actually true, but looking at how blue and deep it is, I believe it. You said Lake Superior more like Lake Disappointing. Then you pressed your cold toes against my bare legs like a huge asshole. This is girlfriend abuse, I'm pretty sure. I wanted to go to LA, but you weren't interested. You said it's because you don't want to be a bougie Hollywood lesbian couple, but I know you were thinking about Rachel. I wish she was alive to be here with us. I wish I could have known her. That that one hurts. That one hurts a special, special way. Max gel pens, man, this is 10th grade. We could just talk with our mouths. Fuck no, this is dope. We came all this way to write back and forth to, to each other like we're passing notes in school. Okay, if this is so boring, why don't you go talk to that guy at the counter who keeps checking you out? LMAO, no. It'll be funny. He'll definitely think he's getting a f two for one deal. Chloe, oh my god. We'd rock his world. I hate his beard. We'd make him shave it first, then obviously we'll kill him in the morning. What? Why? Because you're mine, bitch. Oh. Oh, no. This book is dusty. Found it after two days of looking. This is what I get for keeping my shit in storage. The letter from Kaladin made me think about school, which made me think about you, which made me think about this book. When I met Yasmin Vaid at my show in Boston, I had no idea she was the pres president of the prestigious liberal arts college. She was just some hot older lady who seemed to really want to be my friend. The artist-in-residence lodgings were described as a cottage in the onboarding materials, but its size of the last three apartments combined be a great place to bring friends over if I had any. September 20th. Picture it. I'm sitting in President Fayed's office on my first day, and it comes to this girl in acid-washed jeans and a Dolce Gabbana jacket. She says hi to me, like we've been friends for years. Reaches over the president's desk and snags her keys and announces she's taking the car and her too. We went and got ice cream in her mom's Porsche. Oh right, yeah, Yasmin Fayed, Fayed's daughter. Safi Llewellyn Fayed, a grad student at Caledon. She declared Rocky Road the best ice cream of all time and told me the jeans were an experiment that wasn't really working. That was almost a month ago. I see her almost every day. We're friends, I guess. It's been a while. <laughs> I do. It's cozy. Oh, no. The picture alone, I you guys can't see it because of my... Hold on. Look at that. This is going to be a fun read, huh? Did I mention that part of the Kaladin artist in residence deal in seminars? Like teaching lectures and students come to them and learning in the hall with slides. I tried to tell Yasmin that I don't have any teaching experience, but what was I supposed to say? Sorry, my only photography class was the two months in senior year. I was infatuated with a hot teacher who turned out to be a psychotic pervert and murdered who kid and murderer who kidnapped me to his secret bunker. I can't even get through a lesson plan without thinking about Jefferson. Despite that. People seem to like the seminars. There's a couple students in particular that I think have a lot of potential. Is that a teacher emotion? December 4th. 
Safi's always encouraging me to do normal people stuff. And today it panned out. Because I've got a date, motherfuckers. I was a little scared. I've seen Amanda make a guy cry and give him a free beer after, but we clicked. Hard, I think. Safi didn't ask about you earlier, but I sidestepped that combo like a wild bear. She's writing to Chloe. In this journal. Safi did ask about you. I wasn't up to explaining how I leveled my hometown. I have a feeling she'll bring it up again. Not again. Not again. Not again. Not again. <laughs> so Max is really going through it. She has this journal to Chloe. Can we click on the link? Nope. Sophia Llewellyn Faid was a strong, talented woman with endless potential. She's, at lo She's a loss to this world that I will never forget. My heart goes out to her family. I hope we get some answers soon. If we do, it won't be from the cops. They're dragging their feet. I can't believe this happened on campus. What was she doing out by herself anyway? She was too young. 24 hours later and still no words about the death of a grad student on campus. A grad student who was the daughter of Kaladin's president? Really? I know this ain't the same Kaladin that was voted safest campus in the Northeast. If you need me to come get you, let me know. I can't believe she's really gone. As I some already know, what Yasmin went through writing this post. the student we lost yesterday was my daughter, Safia. I will continue to serve as president, but I will be grieving. Please respect my privacy during this time. It does seem that way. Yeah. She's teaching. Residency. Makes sense. Professor. This is that weird guy that had made some weird comments before. I was sadly reminded of a line from my father's book, Death comes for us all on a whim and with no regard for our imagining. I'm sorry to all who loved her and could not imagine this. No, you're not alone. Yeah, this professor was acting weird. I don't. I don't either. I wish I'd been there. When I started open mic night, I was terrified no one would come. Safi was first to sign up. She read this gorgeous poem honoring a dead friend. She never signed up again. She was like a match, burned brightly and left as fast as she came. Rip Safi. Wish we'd had it a little bit longer. You know, we really we only knew Safi for an hour hour and 20 and I really like <laughs> I feel attached like they they did a really good job of making this community feel real I'm only I'm less than two hours in but I think so yeah exactly I I feel that they did not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane best to get this out of sight Oh, better clean those up too. Chloe's mom. Oh man, Joyce, right? Oh, Joyce. We lost you in the storm. Chloe never really looked at me the same after she found out. So there was resentment for Max having saved Born her? Born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, but... Never made it to Canada till Chloe took me. Banff National Park did not disappoint. Banff. I've always thought that National Park is funny. Anyway. Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. We love Joyce. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Where is she? Over here. Hi, Amanda. I'm, back. I'm here. Oh, we have Not to clean these sure up. If the doorbell works. 
It doesn't, but we have to clean this up really quick. We have these Polaroids. Oh, I guess we don't have to. It's I'm coming! Lovely weather we're having out here, but probably I'm coming! Stop! Hey, I'm You brought food! Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go bigger, go home, I always say. Amanda seems really sweet. She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to- I mean, she was just- God, how embarrassing. I'm- Falling apart right in front of you. Sorry for it. Don't you dare. You are hereby ordered to be nice to yourself. I'll begrudgingly admit it is nice to see a friendly face. <laughs> a friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Homemade focaccia Damn. bread? Okay then. I would devour that. I would have that. been happy with old Halloween yeah. candy and a Pop Tart. <laughs> Boy Wonder, I I'm really enjoying it so far. We're we're not even through chapter one yet, but I I really like it. I I'm thinking it's good. We've we've played one before the storm and true colors. We haven't played two or Captain Fantastic. So just for you to know what I have played. I I like this one so far. Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. It's really, really? cool to return to Max. Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. Oh yeah, boy wonder the music choices. I could eat you under always the table. Always top notch, so good. <laughs> Wowzers. Wowzers. Oh, I get it. I wasn't thinking that way. <laughs> Shit. That came out wrong. My thoughts have been kind of... It's cool. <laughs> I'll never be able to hear drink you under the table the same way again. Yeah, I missed that box. <laughs> it took me a minute. You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. She's definitely right. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Also helps me use my time travel powers. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... What do you mean, what? You've got a lot on your plate, emotionally. So? Ah, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, you don't want to be the... Oh, shit. We can make it work. I can handle it. I've she dealt do. with tough shit before. Max is bi, I believe. But I can't Canonic. handle it. And it's not what either of us needs. At least, not right now. Trust me. Now, how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist-in-residence? 
See, boy wonder I never I never saw that piece because we uh we ended up with Chloe in that one. What does double exposure mean? Ah, I see. Strike cool pose. I feel like this isn't silly. Show me your goofy side. <laughs> nice. Is that cool? I don't even know if that's cool. Oh, nice. That's that'll be good in double exposure. <laughs> that one's funny. She doesn't like it. She hates it. She tells me my How about another terrible. one? Different pose this time. What's okay. going to happen when I take this picture? Why not? <laughs> I know these games. You're going to make me see something. Oh. oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just, just a sec, okay? Uh, Max has a crush on her. Seems like Hi, her Yasmin. crush on Max has faded a bit. Hi. Hi, Maxine. How are you holding up? Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Um, like the death of your daughter? I don't think the murder of your daughter. I don't think so. Nothing like what you've experienced. Well, wait, no. ah, I don't know. I mean, she Tell saw Chloe die <laughs> more than once. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so. I would course. say it is different for sure. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? I'm not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. Wow, that was a quick change. Thank you enough for coming by. She had her coat on five seconds. What you do? This is the one thing that brightened your mood today, aside from me. <laughs> Come on, I'll walk with you. Yeah, a little suspicious of Yasmin. It's because life is strange, man. They they make you suspicious of all trusted adults. Yeah, she does. Max asked her out. They were supposed to go on a date. Amanda was like, you're a little too traumatized for me. It is really pretty. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. <laughs> well, I get that. Time to see these jokers burn down the turtle completely. in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Of 
fuck me. Okay, They're folks. The admin building. Yep. Tragically, I think that's where we have to end for today. Because I did, I, we've, I don't want to rush through this area just to get to the, um, just to get to Yasmin. Because I want to see all the pieces of this campus and things. But I don't have time to do that justice this evening. I'm planning to play it eventually, but I still enjoyed True Colors after watching Anorak play it. Point things out. I know, same fo foxes. Today when I went to get it, I was like, damn, I really want all the clothing. But it was so expensive. Yeah, exactly, Cass. We gotta see we gotta see all the juicy details that they put in. Cause so far we've been very rewarded for digging through all the text and stuff. Or at least I've been. I've I've enjoyed all the info we've gotten from those texts. The cat outfit. I just got the standard version. I didn't get the deluxe or the or the uh, special outfit one. But yeah, we will on Monday. We'll start right here. I imagine we're not far from the end of chapter one.